What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword. This is the Crown Tundra DLC. Thank you guys for over 2,000 likes last episode. And last episode you checked in, uh, I picked up this, this hat thing from inside the house. And uh, we're gonna see if we can just put it up here and see what happens. It's a statue of, a, of Pokemon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. It looks like the wooden crown could fit onto the statue here. Do you wanna try fitting it on? Indeed I do. Let's put it on and see what happens. And Russell Russell Schwunk. <laughs> there you go, looks good. All right, it's Toad. No, I'm just kidding, no. The wooden crown fits perfectly on the statue. Crown own. Crow, crow own? Crown, crown? Crow own? Oh geez. <laughs> hey, that's the logo of the game. What the heck is that? All right. Does it want you to follow it? No, I doubt it. No, it does, it probably does. Come on, Cub Fu or whatever your name is. K-Dog, let's go. Haha, <laughs> you're trapped in the corner. It's got a Triforce on it. Cra crown. All right. It seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Yes. Cra crown. All right, let's test its strength. What is this? We don't know, it appeared. Okay. Come on, K-Dog, you got this, buddy. Crow round. <laughs> He's trying to say crown. He's got a nerve, it's too nervous to eat berries. Oh no, I can't eat a berry. What am I gonna do? Close combat, let's see what happens. Not bad. Not, it's, well, not very effective, brother. And my defense f fell, that's okay. Heal pulse. Oh, great. Uh, let's try Iron Head. Boom! Uh, not too bad. Here's Giga Drain, yikes. Oof. <laughs> that healed him pretty good, I, I assume. Oh, not, not that great. I'm thinking about camping, what? Wicked blow, let's do a wicked blow here. Here we go. Check out this wicked blow. Oh, that was super wicked, super effective, a critical hit. And he fainted, okay. My strength was great. Was I supposed to catch him? Oh crap, was I supposed to catch him? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. No, okay, he's, he's talking. C crown crow, round, round crown. Who are you? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop reading what he has to say because <laughs> it's just gibberish. All right, I need to, I need like a translator here. Room. Oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, chief? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin! Hum, room, crown, cr crown. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What is he doing? Knocked his hat off. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Oh wait, he's communicating through him? This is creepy. Are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see you have grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I am Calyrex. 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 <laughs> How do you say it? I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude towards you restoring my statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, as I was able to bring lush ve vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost through the ravages of time. 
You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength, and now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask you. This is so creepy. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I've tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature to, or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. You, you, you look like a Pokemon. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised to see another Pokemon pop up, right? <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. This one's this, this this one can't possibly be real. Look at him. I mean, they have like so many other Pokemon. Run. Anyway, please, kind-hearted human, I beg you to help me. All right, that's me, the kind-hearted human. You jotted down the current status on Legendary Clue 1. Calyrex appeared once. I placed the crown on the statue of the King of, the, of Bountiful Harvest. Calyrex can apparently speak to humans by taking over a person's body. Peonies in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the King of Bountiful Harvest from the people of the village. All right, so... Oh my gosh, he's Peony still captured. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go have a chat. Uh, I've already, I've already at the end of that last episode, I talked to everyone already. But I'm bell, and this door doesn't work. Ain't nobody in here. Can't read no books. All right, I don't know what this house is all about. Someone said in the comments I was supposed to read some books, but. No clue. All right, you. Sup? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. All right, great. I'm gonna go inside. I've never seen a Pokemon like Foofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it if only I could find a dependable one. It's me, I'll take it. All right, fine. Don't speak to me of things. All right, here, so. Oh, wait, hold on, no, you can, you can walk around. Yes, I do like it. All right, sure. Okay. I don't know what books you guys are talking about. You said I could read some books. I'll have to figure that out later. All right, uh. Hey, do you, who, who, oh my God. How do I get over here? Did we ever figure this, oh, I see now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I gotta get, I gotta squeeze through. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> a piece of charcoal. Now I think I gotta go back. Hey, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't want no encounters. The King of Bountiful Harvest? Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? Yeah. Do you want to trade eight pieces for carrot seeds? I only have three. All right. I might need to go. I might need to do, do the the thing properly. The king of bountiful harvest. I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told that if I made mischief, mischief in the fields, the king would steal my body away. The Pokemon King? Oh sure. My grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale that. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 All right, is there any, here, I'll talk to you. You look important. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvest? Why, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Freezington, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if only the King were real. You've you've asked the people of Freezington about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Time to report back to Calyrex. I hope, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's run back over to him. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, human child, I trust you're able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? They did, but... Hmm, it is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm, oh, no, of course I'm not grieving. I am the king of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were, were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Your loyal steed? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that, that I used to ride all across the land. 
The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though in ancient times we spend many days together dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land, my power waned and I was forced to part ways with it. Now, I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained, well, loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. I would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you are able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. Oh, okay. Where, where were you going to be? Okay. So, gah. <laughs> huh? Chief with a massive noggin. Or wait, no, it's it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange, like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Sides, it's freezing out here. Alright. Sure, let's, uh, let's head out. Just want to take a peek over here and see if there, if I've missed anything. Aha! Gunk shot! Gross. <laughs> That's like the grossest sounding move. <laughs> Gunk shot. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so... This is the head of the town, the mayor. The mayor's not home at the moment. He was just here! What are you talking about? He went to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The fields of, in the giant's bed are to the southeast of the village. Great. Go through Frost Point Field and just keep going to the left. Okay, but I'm going to check his house. Door is locked. A note stuck to the door. I'll be in the fields of the giant's bed. Okay, great. Vroom vroom. Let's go to the fields of the giant bed or whatever. And just keep going to the left. Max revive. Alright, giant's bed. Calm mint. Crackpot. My name is Zach Scott. Interesting Pokemon all around. I, I'm not really super interested in catching them, though. Oh, yeah. 2000 W. Nah. Don't need that guy. Probably. So, keep going to the left, they said, right? This is left. I don't really know where I'm going. Big mushroom. Elect, uh, electorizer. Okay. How do I get over there? Guess I ride through this, huh? Oh god. Hi! Okay, I, almost, I thought I almost hit him. Just a tiny bit of energy. Might as well pick it up, right? Encore! Can I get an encore? Do you want more? No, no wishing piece, please. Oh boy. Alright. Am I still going the right way? Oh my god, why is that one not even lit up at all? I'm just here for the W's. Am I? Okay, here's the thing. That's very bright. Oh, wow. Nah, okay. Let's just keep going. Oh god. Now... Hey. Sup, dude. Watt Trader. What's today's highlight? No. No thanks. What's in your regular inventory? Yeah, no, no thanks. I'm good, no thanks. Get out of here. I feel like, I don't know, is it labeled on my map? 
Oops. Let's look in the town map here. Uh, Giant's bed. Okay, I'm right here, right? Wait, where am I? I somehow missed Giant's bed. Does it have like a you are here section? I think, this, I think that's where I am. I don't know. Giant's bed. <sighs> Where's this dude, man? He said he'd be in the fields of the giant's bed. And I don't know where the dude is. This looks interesting. Maybe this is the giant's bed. This is kind of where I came from, right? God, look at that guy there. Old cemetery. This place is spooky. What is this? Yeah, let's read it. November 30th, green flourished once more around our village and rich soil began to spread. Vast lands lay open for farming once more. The village folk began to call the visitor a king in appreciation. Our village had long been plagued by a ruffian that ran rampant through the fields, devouring crops as it pleased. But the king, uh, resplendent in its full power, suddenly spoke to us in our tongue, vowing to reign in the ruffian. Good job. That's a... Oh, God. It's not... <laughs> when he runs at me, it's spooky. All right. Got a pokey doll. There's so many... Oh, gosh. I actually don't want to fight anything right now. A wild lampant. Whatever. I don't even know what a lampant is. Let's try close combat. That didn't work. Oh, my God. What? Let's do a wicked blow. Wicked indeed. All right. Put his lights out. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know where I'm going, dude. He said keep going to the left. I'm trying. The heck is that? That's so tiny. I don't like this place. Giant's bed, crown tundra. That guy looks awesome. Try to grab whatever that was. Dude, am I in the right place? This is like a graveyard over here, which is an interesting area. Here's an area up here. This is not a graveyard, is it? I don't know what this is. I've already been here. Oh my gosh. There he is, I think. Here we go. Alas, this field is no good either. The soil is bare and no crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tundra truly are beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of the Bountiful Harvests? Well, this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my house in Fr Freezington. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. All right, so this area, this I saw a little pedestal over here that maybe I could go look at. Let's say this. Yes, let's read it. 
Before long, the ruffian had bent its knees to the king and become its loyal steed. Our people's faith in the king grew firm and unwavering. Our ancestors built a temple around the sacred sapling atop the tall mountain to give the king a worthy home. Moreover, they crafted a set of reins to let the king command its proud steed with ease. All right. Great. How do I get back? <laughs> How do I get back? Oh, man. All right. Let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. Can I fast travel? Oh, this is this is me, right? What is this? This is the old cemetery. This is Giant's Bed. Frost Point Field. Snow Slide. Slope. All right, uh, so I want, yeah, I can fast travel, can't I? Yes, good. Here we are. What's happening? What is that? Yes! <laughs> there they are, it's Sonya! These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Hmm, wait, Z-Dog? What are you doing in a place like this? Ex no, what are you doing here? I keep asking myself the exact same question. If I'd known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people, you see. Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is just a place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, then I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? I do. What's, what's the proof? Uh, you found evidence of the Iron Will poke Pokemon. <coughs> Excuse me. That's 2% of the data needed to track it. What? My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we can find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Z-Dog? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house there so so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Uh, so that I can grip a pen and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. All right. So just look for more footprints or something? I, I don't know how that's gonna pan out. We'll see how it pans out, no clue. I am going to focus on now going to the mayor's house. He wants to chat. Sup, mayor? Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the king of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. I did it. I did it. Hmm. You say that's the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design of our town souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. That statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course, you wanted to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come then, follow me. All right. An old book I read long ago said that the King's loyal steed was practically, was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what exactly the steed so desired. I think it's best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out any more. Okay, this is what you guys talked about. You told me that I had to read some books. I'm betting it's carrots. You think it's carrots? Because that's what they have here. What are you? Carrot. There are all kinds of books about the Crown Tundra. Which book would you like to read? Oh my god. <laughs> let's, ring the, let's read the King of the Bountiful Harvest. The king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in verdant grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its left hand, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. 
Its great crown of green gleaming, the king galloped across the land astride its proud steed, and their footsteps buds would burst from the soil, and rich life was born across the region, and so he worshipped the Pokemon and paid it all due tribute as king. Which, like, yeah, let's read about this proud steed. The horse Pokemon gave over its power to serve the king and carry it hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. This proud steed uh, had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, uh, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can say which is the truth. Okay. Something about ice. Might have to do a little research on this myself. The Reigns of Unity. Through these reigns did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made by the hands of the people, and thanks for the plenty brought by the king. These reins bound not only the horse and the king to one another, but bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget to gift the king with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together to bind us all in faith. Let the secrets of the sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. Would you like to check any of the other books? Hardy crops for the tundra. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracks close to where many souls are laid to rest. Okay, so I was just in a graveyard. Shade root carrots will be your crop. So if I... Okay. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in ice root carrots. So, I already have a pretty strong ghost Pokemon, a level 100 ghost, so I'd probably be leaning more towards ice. According to old fairy tales, the steed that the king of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to con contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a, of a white steed delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. Uh, so I'd probably be going for the ice root carrots. Try the freezing in snow samba. Isn't it tough dealing with the cold here on the tundra with temperatures seeming to drop lower and lower with every passing year? While it's tempting to stay indoors where it's cozy, don't forget to move that body too. Try the freezing in snow samba today and get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Lift both hands in the air, wave here, wave there, bow low, touch your toe, and freeze. Then up we pop and start it all once more. Form a circle with friends and don't be shy. The snow samba will keep you young at heart. Uh, we got Town Records Tourism Initiatives. Freezington Souvenir Brainstorming Sessions, minutes taken by the town's tourism lead. We got a lot of submissions in our last round, so our thanks to all who contributed ideas. We've settled on an idea for a new Freezington Souvenir, sure to lure in more visitors. A shirt featuring our own King of Bountiful Harvest. By reusing the artwork from some old documents, we should be able to help design costs too. Uh, help what? Keep, keep costs low? What did it say? I don't know. I'm good. I might have misread that. Sometimes I get to reading so fast and I just misread stuff. If you want to learn more... Okay, great. I, I think I learned all I can. I need to get some carrots or something. I think. I don't, I don't actually know. But I don't have enough... If I have to get those carrots... He's staring at me again. I might have to go do that layer again. And, th and that'll be fine. I should have done it my first try. But I didn't pick something that was strong against water, and I really should have, and I should have stuck with it. So, that was my fault entirely. Uh, so yeah, this guy wants to visit with me again. There he is. How are you going to speak to me without a body, though? <laughs> okay, yeah, he's just talking again. Yeah, I don't know this language. Hmm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Here we go again. Here we go again. Human child, were you able to find something about my loyal steed? Yes. You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist. It has been so long since we rode together that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal, loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? The Freezington Snow Samba. No. Uh, carrots, I'm pretty sure. Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. 
Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I'm in your debt, human child. We must do. We must now do what is clear. If we were able to find carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans of the village grow any carrots? If we could obtain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. All right, so in order to find the king's beloved steed, I'll need to get to first get my hands on his favorite food, carrots. Maybe the people, yeah. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go do that, that layer again if I'm gonna get any carrots, because he needed eight, and I only have three. Give me a discount, dude, it's for, for a good cause. Okay, you won't be able to find the carrots. We do have seeds. Eight pieces, no. Yes, I do, but I don't have them. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to go over here. And since I've already showed you guys uh, this layer before, I might just show you the final battle because I really should have done it last time. So we'll make we'll make some clever edits here, and I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna pick something that's strong against a water type Pokemon. Uh, so we know. Uh, let's see. Um, we got, what do we got? We got, uh, if we want, so I'm looking at a chart. We want electric or grass, right? So that's what we're going to go in and do. I'm going to pick a Pokemon that has electric and grass. What? Turn, what? Come on, I got to go do it. How do I... Yes, please. Yeah, but I didn't beat him. Oh, so you can try to take on Suicune. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I want to look for him. Yeah, sure, save my adventure. So, wait, is it... Is it going to be... Okay, don't invite others. I'll be fine. So, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, so I need, like I said, electric or grass to take him on. So I'm going to have to pick him up along the way, I think. Whatever. I don't know what I'm picking. Is it going to take me directly to Suicune, or do I need to get... Let's find out. I don't want to burden you guys with, like, a whole fight again. All right, so we, we see a good path. So, yeah, this is... I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here... Get this one. It's going to be electric type. And then I'm going to then... Uh, I'll come back once we're fighting Suicune. Is that okay? I think that's how you say the name. I don't know how to say the name. So we're going to fight this one first. And I don't want to burden you with this because we've already fought a bunch of stuff before. Raichu. Raichu is super loud, dude. Raichu really hurt my ears. What the heck was that? So I'm going to do my best. We're going to fight all these things. And when we get to Suicune, I will BRB. All right, guys, we're ready to move on to this Pokemon here, and we're gonna get him. And uh, I have Raichu on my team, so we're definitely gonna, gonna get him. It's gonna be fine, I have yet to Dynamax. The rest of the fights are a breeze. But here we go, Suicune. All right, come on, Raichu, you got this. All right, now uh, I'm gonna Dynamax and then blast him with electricity. Oh, I can't, someone else Dynamax for me, that's fine. I have, I have yet to Dynamax, I guess. Why is my, I don't know. I'll get it filled up soon. I don't know what I'm saying. My lightning rod got something. There you go. And that makes me go up. My special attack rose. Scary face. What did that do? What did that do? The speed fell. That's interesting. Flash cannon. Okay. Don't worry. There we go. Now I can Dynamax. Sorry about that. Dynamax, and I'm gonna do max lightning at him. Should take him out pretty good, I would think. And then we'll catch him, of course. But mostly I'm here just to get the resources to get those carrot seeds. There we go, big right chew. Coming at you. Extreme speed, okay. Copper jaw's almost down. Here comes in max lightning for you. Very good, very good. Be nice if it paralyzed him or something. 
But I don't know. Thank you. My lightning rod keeps drawing an attack somehow. It's interesting. Drill run. Get him. Boom. All right, we're doing good. He's halfway there. Let's do another max lightning. <laughs> That's very effective. All right. This was a good choice. Almost down for the count. All right. That's fine. It's two attacks. Come on. All right. Uh, let's see. I know, I know. It's growing even stronger. It's fine. We got one more hit on him, and then it'll be down. Here comes another Max Lightning, then. How about that? There you go. Blast. Super effective. And then I want to uh, throw a Pokeball. Catch, of course. Let's use uh, maybe an Ultra Ball. Why not? I don't want to miss this guy or anything. Get in here. Awesome. Come on, lock and load. Got him. Got him. That's the only one I caught. So Suicune was caught, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I know. I guess right. I guess I caught right you. That's right. Suicune, I'm gonna take you with me. Level 70. Select. There we go. Yes. Yes, indeed. And I got nine Dynite ores. So that's good. That's good indeed. Uh, do I want to give Suicune a nickname? Um, let's see, really quick. I don't know. I don't know much about Suicune, uh, but let's see if I want to give him, is that, let's see. Is that the, yeah, that's as good as it gets, it's a water-based Pokemon. Okay. Sure. Sure, why not? Do I already have an S-Dog? I'll just name him S-Dog anyway. I don't know if I have an S-Dog or not. If I do, I'll rename him. Uh, should I add him to my party? Uh, we can get rid of D-Dog. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's higher level. I can always, I can always switch it back if I, if I, you know, you know what I mean. All right, now saving my adventure. Thank you so much. And now I have enough to, uh, uh, I have enough to get the carrot seeds, which I am going to want to do. And then let's head down this way. Get some watts. Just the right way. Indeed, it is. Okay, great. And then let's get these carrot seeds. Oh, you're looking for carrots. Okay, seeds. Yeah, I'll trade them. Yes, please. Give me the carrot seeds. Now I gotta go plant them, I guess. Now you can, Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds as promised. All right, so where do I go plant them? Yeah, which field do I wanna? Don't go, grow, don't go planting the seeds I gave you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. These fields are our own for our crops. All right, does anyone want to talk to me about, like, do I need to go talk to, do I need to go talk to this Pokemon? Hey, hello, I got the carrot seeds. Have you found the carrots, human child? Yes, by the stars. You say that you have carrot seeds? That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots? You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I'm constantly amazed by your in ingenuity. 
And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where might we find the soil suited for growing these crops in this tundra of mine? Here we go. Where are we going? There's one place. This is the place I want to go, not the graveyard. Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is is a field covered in pristine snow. And the other is... I'm going to go to the field covered in pristine snow. Another spot is, is a field by gravestones where those who moved on were laid to rest. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers and grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Here we go. I will. And then this guy's back up. <laughs> what in the? I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. <laughs> I guess it just goes to show that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. All right. Well, I'm going to go get to move on and plant those seeds. Those carrot seeds. You mark the two fields. Yeah, okay, great. Upon hearing that I was able to find carrot seeds, Calyrex told me about two fields where I can grow the carrots. I need to pick either the field covered in the snow or the field by the graves and plant the seeds. Sure enough, sure enough. Nan, nanny. Sing that song about the King's Steed Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear, I'd love to. Ice root carrots, cold as ice. Munched up by the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as doom. Crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. <laughs> now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan. All right. So, uh... That was a good song. Do you have any songs to sing me? Uh, same song, huh? That's okay, that's okay. Let's go, uh... So they were marked on the map. Yeah, I wanna go here. Can I fast travel here? Go there, yes. Yes, go there, please. Cause I need to go up north a little bit and then... Oh, these are shadows. I can, I can drive through the shadows, I suppose. And it looks like we're going over here. There's something written on the old pedestal. Do you want to read it? Yes. April 21st. The king brought abundance and life to this land that was once frozen tundra. We owe these very crown plains to our king. And as long as the bond between us people and our king holds strong, these lands will no doubt thrive for all time in fertile green. So do I just plant it? I guess, I guess so. I guess I just plant it. Oh, here's something. Close combat. And it looks like I planted over here, right? Yes, indeed. It's one of the fields Calyrex told you about. Do you want to plant the carrot seeds in this field? Yes. Here we go. I see you have reached one of the fields. He brought him with him. He brought Peony with him. <laughs> if you plant the seeds in this field, ice root, ice root carrots will grow. It has been so long that my memory is hazy, but I believe that my loyal steed would often partake of this sort of vegetable. If ice root carrots were what my steed preferred, it must have been ice type, mustn't it? It's most vexing that I can't recall. I suppose we will see. I will ask, but once more, are you sure this is the field in which you want to plant the seeds? Yes. Very well. Then I ask that you plant the seeds. All right. Ask and you, you shall receive. All right. There we go. Ha <laughs> Very good, very good. You have been able, you, you have an able hand for wor working with soil. Now then, it's time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. Do it. <laughs> what kind of a dance is this? All right, great. Crow round. All right. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Doink. Gasp! You planted so many seeds and yet my powers could only get one to grow. To think I have fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon it will be time to bid my sorrow farewell. 
Now, human child, I must ask that you pull that ice root carrot free with all of your might. Let's do it. Yeah, let's pull it out. One and two and pull. All right, got it. All right, now what? Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are the reins of unity. They will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. Oh, here comes a, a horse. A steed. Bryce. <laughs> Bryce. All right. There he goes. What? Glastria, my loyal steed, is it truly you? That glistening white pelt, that rough, violent gallop. It has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. All right, now what? It is my belief that while my steed picked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off in, it must be headed to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true, then Freezington is in danger. Human child, we must make haste. All right, let's go back to the village. Oh, is it just gonna sit? Nope, you judge on the current status. Calyrex was able to grow an ice root carrot from the seeds I planted in the field covered in snow. The scent of the carrot lured Glastrier out, but it ran off towards Freezington. All right, well, you know what that means, don't ya? It means I'm going to fast travel to Freezington. <laughs> Maybe get there before them, I don't know. A flying taxi? Yeah, sure. However, however you can get me there, however. Here we go, I made it here. My loyal seed is endangering the villagers, but I am too weak, please human child, I beg you, save the village. Oh, there it is. What a danger. They're all concerned. I did my best impression. Stop! Oh god. <laughs> He's coming for me! Uh, okay. Do I gotta catch it? Like, what's the deal? Last year appeared. Probably not. They probably won't let me catch it. I'm just gonna faint it. So I might want to switch to fire, you know, just, to, just because. I'm assuming ice is weak to fire. I mean, that's what the type charts say. But uh, fighting is pretty good too, so I can break him. So close combat, here we go. Boom! There you go, there you go. <laughs> that was quick. Hope that was what I was supposed to do. All right. You can just ride our dog. <laughs> All right, now what happens? He's not happy about that fight. He's gonna leave. Uh-oh, watch out for the old woman. Crown. He stops dead in his tracks. And off he goes. All right. Are you all right? Y yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. And what is this? A tuft of white mane hair. Okay, great. Mane hair that belonged to the King of Bountiful Harvest's beloved steed, Glastrier. The hair is strong and very flexible. Oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of the Pokemon in the fairy tales, a loyal steed of the king, but, no doubt, I am overthinking things. Hmm, what is it you have there? Is that a tuft of white mane hair? In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of the loyal steed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity which link the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave reins of unity, following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I myself had never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the reins has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. 
Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. Yeah, let's make those reins. That would be helpful. There he goes again over there. He's <laughs> possessing Peonia. Does no one care? Does no one see this and, like, losing their minds? All right. He wants to talk to me back over in this little corner. You should come out and talk to the people, man. They might have more faith in you if they would just show yourself in frequently, you know? All right. Great. Great. Let's see. Can you make the flower or whatever, dude? You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were I at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity. They would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. We can make a set. What's that? We can make a set of reins with my with mane hair for my loyal steed and a flower that I can grow? A flower. A, a flower. But yes, of course. I had assumed that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the material needed. I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drains much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There is only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. Does it grow from your head? What's the deal? What's happening? Crownus Bloomus. Take this, human child. Oh, I got a radiant petal. What about the whole flower? A single petal. Pant pant. <laughs> it shames me to admit it, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I still must ask that you use it to try to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reins for me should still live in this village. I put my hopes on you, human child. Alright. So let's go. I'm just gonna guess it's over here. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna check with these ladies really quick and see if they know what to do. You want to make a set of reins? Well, the mayor is pretty good at making things. He even made the village's signature shirt. All right, then we'll go visit the mayor. Oh, hello again, savior of our village. Come to do some more reading? Not this time. I beg your pardon, you want me to make a set of reins of unity? Well, I say that presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-granddad were still around, he'd have been able to make you a set, but unfortunately, we've no one left uh, who knows the traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you need to forge a set of the reins. Got a petal, at least. Is, is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the King of Bountiful Harvest has truly... No, no, I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made reins of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key materials, a flower and hairs from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those two, those old traditions have long since faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse a favor to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. All right, good luck. <laughs> Are they really? Is it really a skill long forgotten, or do you know how? I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great granddad would have made. But time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village. Click clack, click clack. All right, where were? Harumph! I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. <laughs> I fancy myself a crafty enough sort, but I suppose it'd take a craftsman of truly delicate technique to make such fine reins. Oh, please, don't look so dejected. I am very sorry. Truly, I am. Oi, oi, Mr. Mayor. The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, yes, terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief. Were you in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awful gloomy. Here's what happened. What? Is that all? <laughs> so, all you needed to do is to make some nice cord. Pass me those materials for a mo. Alright, got my pedal, got my hair. Now, what am I supposed to do with them? If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legends. Blossom woven round and round, a royal gift in mane's hair bound. Steady yawn, old bloke. The singing's a bit much. Oh well, that'll do for an answer. Hiya! All right, so he's gonna make him. He knows how, I guess. I'll finish. Have a look. Think this will do? There we go. Got a set of the reins of unity. All right. 
cords that shine when you hold them up to the light. The people of all times presented these to the king of Bountiful Harvest to express their gratitude. You're more capable than your face lets on. These reins of unity are the spitting image of those in my family's tales. <laughs> I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly, Chief. <clears throat> in any case, it seems you've got the reins of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? Indeed it is. I would love to use these. Okay. I guess I'll go talk to the, uh, the Pokemon. Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at our base, but the water's coming out was ice cold. I got an ultra mega surprise and jumped out. Oh, there he goes again. Here we go. Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? Chief Peony did. Indeed, this man has done much to aid me. I do hope I can repay him sometime. I have some good news of my own. I was finally able to track down my loyal steed. Glastrier is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It's a place where my loyal steed and I spend, uh, spent much time together. I had been avoiding the place as I feared I would get trapped in my own nostalgia. What has my loyal steed made since... Uh, hold on. Why has my loyal steed made the shrine its home? It is reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. The Crown Shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Oh, wow. That's pretty far. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come when you feel you are ready. I'm counting on you, child. All right. Well, that sounds excellent. We're still on Legendary Clue 1. Using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokemon that was once the King's loyal steed, along with the radiant petal grown by Calyrex himself, I was able to recreate the Reigns of Unity. Now I need to head to the Crown Shrine, where the steed's been living, to meet up with Calyrex. So... Question. Where is it? Over here. So, huh. Let's see. Let's see how far I can get. I don't know how long the journey is going to actually be. I don't know if, like, now is the time to go or if I should have just gone. If I should go, you know, next episode. I don't really know how much is left. Dang it, I didn't want to fight anything. Let's see if I can just run. It's hailing. There we go. Got away. No big deal. Whoa! My bad. Let me grab a bit of energy trickling from the den. Heavy boy. Wow. I think I'm going the right way. All right. Am I going the right way? Keep stopping by for the for the watts. Yeah, here's a cave. Whoa, excuse me, dude. Tunnel to the top. Dang. All right. Wild Zubat. Should have done a repel or something. There we go. There's an item up there. All right, still moving up to the top. This looks like a little distraction, right? Got a thick club. Fire blast. All right. Safety goggles. 
I'm still kind of trying to figure out like which way to go here. It's not immediately clear to me. Pair of heavy duty boots. Here we go. Is this it? There's like a little window outside or something. I don't know, man. Oh, I thought that was a ball. <laughs> All right, wild car bink. I'm not really in the mood to fight these guys. I'm just trying to get to the tower. It's a big boy. Hey, big boy. Magma energy. Let me guess, this is like where we came from? No? Ally, ally switch. So, okay, where am I for real? I'm down there, I need to get up there. All right, tunnel to the top. I, I'm gonna try, I mean, I keep, I guess I, kept, I guess I just messed up. Oh, this seems like a big detour. Tunnel to the top. Okay, this is up. Just whatever takes us up, I guess. No. This is another dead end or something. What the heck? Huh. Okay, here's a... Dang it. Here's a path up. Run. All right. This is higher, right? Hopefully once I get this all area discovered, I, I can just travel to it maybe. Here we go. Path to the peak. Nicely done, man. Look at all these guys. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Up to the tippity top, y'all. The crown shrine. This is it. Do we gotta do anything here? I do not know. Oh, here's something that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this item over here. Psychic. There's something over here too. Alrighty. So <laughs> here we go. He brought him. Poor Peony, man. Talk about an inventor. I have been waiting, human child. The Crown Shrine is a place I once called home. Glass Glassier must think me helpless now that I have lost my powers. It taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. Ah, I see you have indeed brought me the reins of unity. You have my thanks, child. Alright. Ah, the feeling of holding these again, the color, the way they shine in the light. Oh, how this brings back memories. Glastrier is a very proud Pokemon. One might even call it arrogant. It will not accept me as its master again unless I am able to prove that my power outweighs its own. I will use the reins of unity to pour my power into the very body of my loyal steed. That should convince it that I am indeed still deserving of its loyalty. Now, human child, in order to lure my loyal, loyal steed to me... Place the ice root carrot in the basket near where Glastrier's made its bed. Okay. Right there. It's going in. 
beautiful. <laughs> looks like a disgusting carrot. The time has come, human child. But you have successfully defeated my loyal steed once already. It will not willingly approach anyone it considers to be a threat. We must hide and wait for it to appear. Alright. I'm not a threat. I just beat him up. Not a big deal. So, okay, what? Okay, we're hiding behind this rock. He can't possibly see us. There he is. He's looking around like, huh. This is suspicious. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite food. Just out in the open for me. Who did this? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, haha, I got you, sucker. <laughs> he rides again. Trying to buck him off. There we go. They have bonded with the reins of unity. Amazing. There we go. Awesome. Super cool. Well, that's all of the, the first lesson or whatever it was, right? What in the world? Such a huge noggin, and it's got a ride? Crawl around, around, ground. <laughs> what, it can talk? Crown, 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 round. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? Round, 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 crown. <laughs> huh? I've got no idea what you're saying, but somehow it also makes sense. Hold the phone. What in the world are you any. Oh, no, not again. Uh. <laughs> All right, human child, thanks to your efforts, I have been reunited with my loyal steed, and now I am finally at my full power. I was convinced that the people no longer believed in me, and I had also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the throes of deep loneliness, but you saved me. There were truly no words with which to fully express my gratitude to you. So I have a suggestion. If you're able to catch me even with my powers restored, it will prove your worth beyond any doubt, and I will lend you my strength on your journey. Once you have readied yourself, come face me. Ah, uh, but first, I should get this man back to where I found him. It would be no good to let him freeze out in this frigid climate. <laughs> Climb. Climate? I don't, what did it say? I, I skipped it too fast. So am I supposed to fight him now? Let's do this. You kidding me? I'm ready. Crown to crown. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Yes. Crown. Here we go. Calyrex appeared. So, and here I am, happy as ever. All right. Row crown. <laughs> uh, as one, has two abilities. Don't do two abilities. Okay, I can't eat berries. Oh no. Uh, so, wicked blow is super effective. Iron head is super effective. 80 or 80? Let's try Iron Head. It doesn't matter to me if K-Dog doesn't make, make it through this. Glacial Lance. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's, he's pulling out all the stops. Yep. Goodbye, K-Dog. I'm gonna maybe switch you now. Uh, let me switch you. Jeez uh, Louise. Uh... Oh, ghost move, dude. This guy's level 100. You're going down. Check this out, dude. Boom. Iron defense. Okay. Okay, whatever. Check this, though. Uh, we got... Which one's going to be better? 
This move hits even if the target protects itself. I love it. I love it. See ya. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Protect yourself, whatever. Here you go, Phantom Force, dude. Boom! Oh, but he's still, he's still kind of alive. There's a psychic move, I don't like that. It's okay. Let's try Shadow Ball. Here we go. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, I don't think I have to catch him, do I? Or do I have to catch him? I actually don't know. I forgot to even try to catch him. I'm so dumb. All right. It seems is testing you. Oh yeah, so I need to catch him. My bad. Uh, so sure. Let me heal my my Pokemon. Uh, where, where do I do this bag? I should. I keep forgetting to catch the Pokemon. You know what I mean? Oh, that wasn't enough. Do another one. There we go. So uh, I could do the same thing, of course. But I don't, I don't need to blast him to. You know, I don't need to kill him. I need to catch him. Here we go. I forgot. Yeah, catch him. Of course. Of course, catch him. I don't know how I, I didn't even see it. It just phased me. Here we go. Roll around. All right. Let's do Wicked Blow. Darn, that was good. Alright. Let's see if I can ca catch him like this. Sorry, I meant to look at my bag. Er, sorry, wrong button. I have a dedicated button to catching Pokemon, don't forget. Ultra Ball. Moon Ball. So do I want to use a Master Ball on this guy, or? Let's just do an Ultra Ball. Although Ultra Ball, you know, the whatever ball will work. Let's see if this one works. Nope. Okay. Here comes another Psychic Attack. Well, here, let me do, uh, this is effective. I don't want anything super effective. Let's just go with effective. I don't want to make him faint. Okay, that's really good. He's down for the count. I like this. Come on now. Giga Drain. No, no. Dang it. Okay, that wasn't. That's not so bad. Let's try again. Uh, Ultra Ball again. Let's see if it locks in. Are you kidding me? All right, so maybe that doesn't work. Do you think I have to just use the uh, Master Ball? Okay. Okay, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, sure, use next Pokemon. Sure. Uh, let's see. What should I do? What should I do? Should I try? Let me try one more Pokeball. I'm thinking that this is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use my, my Master Ball. Oh wait, no. Okay, this one might work. 
Dang it. Are you kidding me? All right. I mean, okay, Ultra Ball. Come on now. Stay in. Dang it. Are you kidding me, dude? I don't get it. Oh, is there any other type of... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if I need to use... Hold on. All right, hold on. Let's try another Ultra Ball. I was gonna keep trying it. I'm looking up something that says you, you can either use the Master Ball or the Ultra Ball. I'm, I'm hoping the Ultra Ball locks in. There you go, okay, there you go. There you go. Calyrex was caught. All right, T-Dog, T-Dog leveled up. Excellent. So. We got him. High King Pokemon, Psychic Ice. According to lore, this Pokemon showed no mercy to those who got in its way, yet it would heal its opponent's wounds after battle. Yes, of course, give him a nickname. This will be... Everyone knows what I'm gonna name it. Sea Dog. Two. Uh, yeah, add him to my party, right? Let's see, add him to my party. He's going to replace our dog, because he's a psychic as well. And we already have one horse. Hold on. Our dog has a Y. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, we've done it all. Human child, no. I should refer to you by your name now. Z-Dog. What? I look forward to what adventures we might have together. Hello? That you, Chief? It's me, Peony. I just had a dream about a big-headed Pokemon talking on and on in a weird shrine. You were there too, Chief. It all felt so real. I got worried about you and decided I better give you a call and check in. You haven't hurt yourself, have you, Chief? Not in a bunch of trouble, are you? Everything's under control. Ah, good to hear. Guess I've got nothing to worry about then. <laughs> the Peony Exploration Team is all about the safety and well-being of its members, after all. So, so you better, so you be careful on your way back too. You hear? No expedition's over until you're safe and sound back at home base. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Calyrex, the king of Bountiful Harvest, was able to reconnect with its loyal steed using the new reins of unity. Calyrex also seems to have regained its trust in humankind. As thanks for helping it regain its power, Calyrex is allowing me to take it along on my adventure. Better report back to Chief Peony. Better indeed. Anything in here for me? Hate to leave something behind. What about that? Did he actually eat the ice carrot? Can I take that back? Oh, he ate it. Darn. So, uh... Talk back to the chief. Well, I'm going to do that next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to check my, my boxes really quick here. Just want to take a look at my party. Party's looking good. Uh, let's see. To the boxes. There's E dog, F dog, Z dog 2. Because I'm Z dog. And then D dog. So, yeah, we we're, we're really switching up our party. Look at these new Pokemon that I have in my party. Interesting, right? It's good to evolve. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for liking this video. Come back next time for more. I'll go talk to, to the Chief very, very soon. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.